Hi everyone! It has been a hot minute since I have made a video for you guys, but today I am coming to you with a brand new manga haul. It's got a little bit of manga, it's actually mostly merch, and a little bit of Visual K band merch in here as well that I'm excited to share with you guys. Now, there's a lot of reasons why I haven't been able to post a video in a couple months, mostly being because I was neck deep in finals week before entering grad school, so that was rough, but we survived. Yes, good. And the other reason simply being I had no money. <laughs> so very obvious why I haven't been able to put in an order in a while, but today I am excited to share this with you guys because today I did an order from Japanese proxy service called Neokyo. Maybe some of you guys have heard it. I know a lot of other manga creators also use this site to buy secondhand anime goods or just like goods from Japan in general. This is my first time placing an order with them. I have placed an order with Baie Japan in the past. I didn't have any dissatisfactions with them. Everything came in good condition. I didn't think it was super expensive, but um, I saw a lot of people had been using Neokyo who had previously used Baie, so I figured I'm gonna try it out, see which one I like better, or see if they're about the same. So, without further ado, let's open this box. I have been waiting for this order for a long time, um, mostly because also when I was placing my orders on Neokyo, because when you're on Neokyo, you can order like individual items and then like combine them and ship them to you, which is what I did. I, <laughs> I got in this really bad habit of like being like, oh, I want that. Oh, that's not so expensive. I'm going to order that too. Stop it. Get some help. And then by the time I got done, I think I ended up with like 14 separate orders so yeah so it took a while for me to like finally be like okay we're not ordering anymore you're shipping what you have to you and you're gonna wait until you get paid again type thing so yeah but I am so so excited for what's in here because if you guys will notice from the first clip who was on my lovely cup today put that a little closer so you can see the man the myth the legend himself <laughs> If you're new to my channel, or maybe you haven't watched my entire collection video, you might not know that I am borderline obsessed with Uzui Tengen. It's not okay, but it could be worse, right? Um, I find it kind of ironic because, like, while Kimetsu no Yaiba is definitely, like, an anime that I really, really love, I never usually place it in my top five when I'm ranking anime for people which just kind of makes me laugh because I feel like as far as anime characters go Tengen is definitely like solidly like in the top three if not like one or two himself so we got some Tengen merch in here and we got some other stuff that I'm like really excited about so let's open it up oh I'm so nervous okay let's see let's see what we got here okay maybe So, the first thing, obviously, that we notice, you guys can't really see, but there's a layer of tissue on top to protect all the stuff. That's good. <sighs> okay, let's see what's on top. I'm scared. Toss this stuff aside. Oh my god. Okay. Um, it looks like everything is like in one giant uh, bubble wrapped piece together which is fine I'm just gonna I'm gonna just cut this bubble wrap apart so we can pull stuff out of the box individually and I don't have to pull the whole thing out at once a little longer than a few minutes later okay so I can already see what's on top and we're gonna start off strong I guess okay so the first thing that catches my eye on top is this base pick right here. I haven't really talked about this on my channel, but if you know me in real life, you know that 
My favorite of all time band is the Gazette. They are a Japanese Visual K band. I have been their fan for 13 years and I'm like completely, utterly devoted to them. They are my everything. They have been there for me through thick and thin and I just, I love them so much. But if you know the Gazette, you will know that in April of this year, 2024, the bassist unfortunately passed away recently. So all of the Gazette fans have been just going through a really hard time. And when I was looking on Neo Kyo, I saw that this specific bass pick was in stock. And I just thought it would really be a nice memento to have of him and to remember him by. So that's why I picked this one up. Let's get it out of the bubble wrap so we can look at it a little more. Oh, it's so pretty. So obviously on the front here, it says the Gazette and has the bassist's name right here, which is Reita. And then on the back here, it's got the little R is mine, which is what I, uh, this is a pick I really wanted. So um, not in this room with all my anime merch, but um, in the other room, I have a whole like display of my band merch for them that I'm gonna put this in in a little case to display it by. So yeah, there's that. All right, so moving on. Next order of business. Oh my God, guys, I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna rip that off there real quick. This was a last minute buy that I did really impulsively. <laughs> and I like literally right before I was ready to ship this to myself, I'm like, no, wait, I gotta, I gotta throw this one last thing in here. So let's open them up and I'll show you guys. So here it starts, here it begins, guys. Here is the beginning <laughs> of all of the Tengen merch. So this is a little acrylic stand I got of Tengen. I am not 100% sure what it's from. I believe it's from a Halloween event, if I'm not mistaken. But <laughs> another random fact about me is that one of, if not my favorite movie of all time is Family Opera. I love the music in it, I just love the story. And my favorite character is the Phantom, obviously. So when I saw this little Halloween standee of Tangan dressed as the Phantom, I just had to have it. It's so cute. Uh, so of course we have to have our little Phantom Tangan standee. So here's what he looks like. He's not that big. I don't know how big I was expecting him to be. I'm not upset with the size at all. He's really adorable. Oh my God, I love him so much. Okay. I will say that even though I've only opened like literally two things so far, I'm really impressed with how well everything's packaged. Like not only is everything bubble wrapped together, but then like everything's packaged really nice individually and then the bubble wrap is bubble wrapped. So like, this stuff was not getting damaged, so I'm really, I'm really happy about that so far. So let's see. Gotta open this up a little more. What is next, shall we? Okay, we'll grab this. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited for this, so I don't know if you guys can see through the package, but my favorite Naruto character, hands down, is the blonde artist Deidara. I don't know what it is about him, but he's just an artsy dork, which I just resonate with that. <laughs> I guess maybe is the best way to describe it. So I saw this standee of him and just had to have it because it's got a really beautiful holographic background, if you can see in here. We'll take him out of the packaging so you guys can see him. I believe he is from an anime cafe, or that's what it said on the back, and I believe that's what it said when I ordered it, but this standee is absolutely stunning. So it's like almost purple, but it's holographic on the back, and it's just him 
with his little um, clay birds and he just looks so pretty and cute in this and I'm just I love Daydata and I feel like Akatsuki merch is it's not super hard to find in Japan but uh, depending on what character you like, it can be hard. Fortunately for me, Daydara is not that hard to find. If you like Daydara or Itachi or Sasori, you're fine. You're gonna find merch of them. However, if you're like me and your second favorite character is Hidan, good luck because you're gonna need it because there's like absolutely no merch of this man. But just one more time again, here's our little Daydara standee. He's so cute. I love him. Oh my God. I'm just gonna have to put him with the rest of the Naruto manga there. All right, what do we got next? Oh man, okay, we're just we're going we're going deep into the Tengen merch here. <laughs> Actually, this package of stuff here, I believe, was the first thing I ordered on Neo Kill because I was just looking at a boredom one day and was like, oh my god the new season of Kimetsu no Yaiba is starting soon. And then I'm like, oh my god, we're gonna see hair down and eye patch Tengen. <laughs> so then my next thought process was, oh my god, there's gonna be merch of that. <laughs> so this little package I got was just like a bundle that like that the seller put together of like the Tengen merch they got because I believe this is from Ufotable Dining, I believe is what it's called. So there was an event in Japan and you go to the cafe and you can buy a bunch of merch from there or like some of the stuff is random which i'm sure this person maybe they got a bunch of tengen stuff and we're like i don't like tengen so i'm gonna sell it type thing good for me <laughs> so in our little package here the first thing i see <laughs> is we have a tengen can badge here i love him so much <laughs> he's so cute with his little this angie face while he's training the Hashira. Oh man, that's cute. And then the next thing we have on top here, ooh, nice. So we have the same art here um, of Tengen, but this is a coaster. This will be a really nice display too. Oh my god, he's just, uh, I can't. <laughs> I can't with Tengen. So we have a second coaster here, another Tengen. This is a little different design. He looks so pretty. I love how like in this one, um, only his eye is like that beautiful fuchsia color and it's just it's really pretty awesome what else do we got here um what is this there was quite a bit of stuff in this pack um oh I see oh god so we got some postcards here and it looks like they taped them to this cardboard but Okay, good. They're not damaged. Whew! <laughs> this is so cute! Okay, so the first postcard we have is White Day Tengen. He's so cute! <laughs> Guys, I, I can't take it. Um, but, um, so White Day is a holiday. Well, a, ho a holiday in Japan. It's very similar to Valentine's Day. Um, I don't remember exactly which one it is. White Day is in March, Valentine's Day is in February, and basically my understanding, I could be wrong, so please don't quote me on this, but in Japan the girl will give chocolate to the boy that she likes on Valentine's Day, and then the boy, if he likes her back, will give chocolate to the girl on White Day, I believe. <laughs> so. This is just Tengen in his little white white day outfit with his little bouquet here. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> uh, anything with Tengen with his hair down, like, sign me up. I'm here for it. <laughs> so then we have another postcard here. Again, we just have the Angie Tengen. I just, I love him. Even even when he's Angie, he's just, he's just a softie. He's a big cutie pie, all right? And then... Our other postcard here, we have a soft Tengen. We finally have a soft Tengen. <laughs> um, but yeah, some more artwork from the anime of him just being adorable. <laughs> and then the last postcard we have here, oh, this is a new one. Also from Euphonable Dining, but here's Tengen in his like normal Hashira getup, but he's sitting on a little suitcase here. So this is also really adorable. Oh man. Ah, I love it. <laughs> 
love it. I don't know what else to say. Um, okay, so this, um, this little thing here, I'm not entirely sure what it is. I saw it in the, like, included with the rest of the stuff. Um, but wasn't 100% sure what it is. It looks like a little letter, so let's see what we got in here. If I can get it open, maybe. Please come out, okay. <laughs> what is in here? <gasps> stop, stop guys, <laughs> stop. <laughs> okay, are you ready for this? So here's the little envelope and then on the inside in here. Da, 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 da. <laughs> It's like a little tin and Polaroid. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, it says maybe every member went to like a different place because if you guys can see on here, it says Tengen from Mexico City. This is so cute. <laughs> I'm not well. <laughs> oh, it's like a little tin and Polaroid. You can totally put it on the back of your phone. Awesome. Okay, and then the last thing I have in the Tengen bundle here is this little canvas board of Tengen with his wives. I love it. Like, I I know I always see on like Twitter and like everywhere else of like everybody joking and being like, I want to be the fourth wife, but um, at the same time, like in all reality, I really love like the relationship that Tengen has with his wives. and. If you've seen the new season, this isn't a spoiler, but like at the end of the episode, when they do like the little Taisho era secret type thing, they did one with Tengen and he's like, of course, with my three amazing wives that I love more than anything in the entire world. And I'm just like, this man, this is a good man. All right, <laughs> like he's, he can do no wrong in my book. So yeah, now we have this little canvas board of all three, all four of them, sorry, all four of them together. Oh, yay. Oh man, I'm having a blast, y'all. <laughs> I haven't done an anime un or like an anime or like merch opening in forever, and I'm having a ball. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's go on to the next thing that's in here, and I'm gonna pick this one. So finally, we have some manga in here. This manga set, I was originally planning on buying new, and I think these are basically brand new anyway. I had a hard time finding the first volume because it's so popular. It's been sold out on CD Japan and everywhere else. So when I saw that they had a bundle of the first two volumes together and it came with um, some little extras, I was like, let's just buy it off of Makari Japan. So that series is Kagurabachi. So if you guys have not read Kagurabachi, what are you doing? This is a brand new manga that's come out only recently. Um, obviously, as we're only two volumes in, so perfect time to start reading it if you want to, because this is a new like shonen manga that kind of, I don't know what it reminds me of. It's really unique in that aspect, but mainly, basically, Kagurabachi follows our main character here, Chihiro. Um, his father was like an excellent swords maker who made these enchanted blades and um, his father afterwards was assassinated and so Jihiro now is trying to regain all of these enchanted blades and keep them out of the hands of evil. And it's just a really good story. Jihiro's a, such an interesting character and I just, I love the story so far. It's super like action-y, super cute. I just, I am also a sucker for shonen manga. So you knew I was gonna read it. <laughs> it was actually recommended to me by my sister and I kind of like put off reading it for a little while. I was like, yeah, I'll get to it. And then once I finally did, I was like, dang, I was missing out. So, so here, our Kagurabashi number one. Even though this is technically used, um, it's brand new, basically. It's still got the obi attached to it here. Um, there's no yellowing whatsoever on it. The person probably just read it and um, called it a day. Like, I think a lot of people do that. I'm not positive 100% sure, but I do think a lot of 
people will just buy it and then read it and then they just turn around and sell it. Oh, this is the one I was really excited for. So here's volume two and we have a postcard of Jihiro on the front. This was the main reason that I wanted to buy this online or sorry, buy this through Makari because I thought I could get like a little extra with this one. Oh, it's so, look at how pretty this is guys. Like um, Jihiro's Enchanted Blade, um, I don't remember exactly what it's called at the moment, but his Enchanted Blade basically takes on the form of like these goldfish. Um, and if you read the manga too, you can see when he like does his like attacks, um, often goldfish will appear um, as like his metaphor or like a metaphor for his fighting. So I just, I love this beautiful picture of him with the little goldfish. So that is definitely going to go on display with the rest. This is volume two of Kagurabachi, again with Jihiro on the front and the first villain that they fight in the beginning. Um, like I said, Kagurabachi, if you guys like shonen manga, just do yourself a favor and read this because it's really good and you will not regret it. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me from the future in post-production of this video. I just realized when I was looking through my Kagurabachi manga that I thought there should be two postcards included with this manga and I could only find one when I was doing the unboxing, but then later when I was flipping through the comic I found the second one in here which has some really nice foiling on it and has a picture of the very first battle that occurs between the first villain and Jihiro here. Okay, moving on. What's the next thing we're gonna grab? Oh man. Ah, <laughs> uh, guess what it is? More Tengen stuff. <laughs> okay, here, if this is, yeah. This is another acrylic stand I got of Tengen. I just thought this one was so stinking cute. I just had, just had to have it. Kind of like the Phantom one. It's just so dang cute. But um, this one, I'm not 100% sure what like event or whatever it was from. I'm assuming it was a summer event um, and you will see why. So here's our little acrylic stand of Tengen. He's so cute. <laughs> I don't know if you can see here, but this is like Tengen is like running a little ice cream shop. We'll take him out of the plastic so you guys can see him better and put him together. But I don't know. Again, if you know me in real life, you probably know that like a good percentage of all the anime characters I like have silver hair, which kind of just happens coincidentally. Not all of them, I will say. Not every single anime character I like has silver hair. And not every silver haired anime character I like. But there is definitely a pattern. So do with that what you will. But let's put our little our little Tengen together and see what he looks like. Oh, he's so cute. Oh wait, I wonder if the, maybe this is supposed to go in the back and he's supposed to go in the front. I don't know. Maybe you can do it either way you want. But again, I saw this online, just had to have it. So dang cute. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> okay, so out of the package, we have him here, little Tangan, being a little ice cream server. He's so cute. <laughs> uh, again, I just saw this one on Neokyo and I was like, oh my God, this is too stinking cute to pass up on. So now we have just two little adorable Tangan standees. <laughs> To go with my multitude of tank and stuff. <laughs> okay, so next we have another manga. Oh my god, guys, this manga. <laughs> I tried to track this very manga down for a very, very, very long time. I tried to get this manga like off of my usual site, CD Japan, when I'm looking for new manga, but it was out of stock. Like, this manga came out in February and has been out of stock forever. Like literally until June, I was like, it is out of stock. It says it's out of print. I don't know what is going on. So then I went on Mercari, tried to look for it. Used copies were literally double or triple the price it was. And I was like, I don't want to pay that unless I absolutely have to. So then on NeoCal, I went on to Amazon Japan or Rakuten, one of the two, and just bought it new 
for like 900 yen, like the normal price that it is. So, this manga that took me forever to track down is none other than Volume 27 of Noragami. Guys, I love Noragami. It is such a good story. I remember watching the anime a long time ago and was just thinking it was okay. And then I never ended up actually watching the second season. Um, which, like, after what I read online, honestly said I'm not missing much. <laughs> um, I heard it didn't follow the manga very closely. So, um, a while ago, I just decided, I say a while ago, like a year ago, <laughs> I just decided to start reading the manga, and it was great. I've not finished it yet. Um, I took a break from it, and I have this bad habit of just not coming back to stuff after I take a break from it for a long time. I'm definitely going to finish it soon, though, because... Volume 27 right here is the final volume. Origami is officially complete. And now with this 27th volume right behind me is where it will go. And that series will now be complete on my list. Um, if you can see, this is a chunky out. This is a chunky volume. Um, probably because it's like the last one. But I have not read the ending yet. I think I still have like... A decent ways to go. I'm definitely over halfway done. Definitely over half, but um, still have a decent way to go. <laughs> so I won't show you any spoilers, but just looking in the front, here's like a, a panel with all our main characters in the front. Oh, just kind of breaks my heart a little bit because Noragami is so good. And it's been going on for quite a while, and I just wanted to flip through it and make sure there was no like extras or anything inside, but. It's just, I really hope that like in the ending that Yato gets to become a god like he always wanted to and like have followers and everything. Or at least I hope there's like a really good ending. So I'm really excited to read this volume and just finally finish Noragami because it is really a manga that I have enjoyed a lot. All right, moving on. We have more manga. Here's the rest of the manga in this order, everyone. So, this I just kind of threw in because I needed it, and again, it was sold out, couldn't find it, wasn't coming back in stock because it's super popular. That's kind of the theme with a lot of the manga that's in here. This is Jujutsu Kaisen, volume 26. I searched, again, maybe not as much as I did for Noragami, but I searched high and low, wasn't coming back in stock. And used copies online on Macari were like two to three dollars. So I was like, what the heck? I'm gonna just throw it in there so I have it. So, volume 26 with Gojo on the cover. If you know, you know. I will not spoil things for you. But, um, stuff is. could be better. Stuff could definitely be better. Let's just say that. I am caught up on the manga um, for Jujutsu Kaisen, and it's. If you're a Jujutsu Kaisen fan who's reading the manga, you know, we're all going through a rough time here. <laughs> so, this is nice to have in my collection to keep going. For the moment, I am caught up on Jujutsu Kaisen, but I'm pretty sure Volume 27 comes out early July, so gonna have to put that on my next order with all of my manga. Speaking of Jujutsu Kaisen, <laughs> I forgot that I needed some merch of my absolute best boys. So here we have a Shikishi board of Choso. Y'all, listen, let me just say that I read the manga before the Shibuya arc came out, was anime adapted, and nobody was talking about this man. And I read the manga and I was like, dude, this character, I love him. Like, he's just, he's great, and he's adorable. He's a good big brother. And nobody was talking about him, and I was like, bro, what is going on? And then, lo and behold, the Shibuya arc happened, and now everyone is a Choso stan, and I welcome it, because that means there's lots of fan art and just lots of people for me to talk about Choso with. So, um, oh, I guess, I think this was from, I don't know if this was from one of, one of the movies came out, but they included just the little, like, um, this is one of those, like, shikishi boards that you can buy in Japan, um, that's, like, in this, um, not clear bag. <laughs> you don't know what character you're gonna get. So, 
I bought this little one of Choso because I need more Choso merch. The next thing on my list to get of this man is his Nendroid, but I just kind of liked this little art of him, so it's going to be displayed nicely. Next, what do we have here? Ah, the last volume of manga, I believe, that's in here. Um, this one, I was going to buy new, but I believe it comes... Oh, yes, it came with some extras, so, of course, I had to buy it. This is Case Study of Anita's Volume 11, limited edition. I have been waiting for Case Study of Anita's to come off of hiatus for a hot minute now. And I caught up on everything, and then when uh, the author announced that the hiatus was stopping, that she was going to start writing again, I just haven't caught up yet, which I'm not super far behind, and that is on my list to read and catch up on, because I love Case Study of Anita's. It's such a good show. Um, I mentioned in another video, maybe my um, video where I go over my whole collection, but um, I used to work in Japan as a teacher, and... One of my students, one of my middle school students, um, recommended me this, and I was kind of like, yeah, I'll check it out, and then kind of just sat on it for a while, then decided, oh, I'm bored, um, why don't I just read this, um, read the one that my kid recommended me, and it's so good, man, like, this, if you like vampires, or you just are a fan of this author, who does Pan Pandora Hearts 2, just read it. It's so good. So interesting. I feel like if you're also like a Black Butler fan, you would very much enjoy Case Study of Vanitas. So let me tell you a little bit about Case Study of Vanitas. So our main character here is Vanitas, obviously. He is on the cover of volume 11 right here. And he is a doctor who wants to cure the vampire affliction. Now, don't quote me on everything here because it has been a while since I've read it and I probably should just reread it or watch the anime so I can remember what's happening. But um, he runs into this vampire named Noe. And I love Noe. Is it a surprise that Noe is my favorite character considering that he has white hair? Absolutely not. So basically there was a regular edition of volume 11 released and then there's this edition. So this edition has Venitas on the cover. I don't know who's on the other cover because I have I haven't met them in the book yet. Um, but Venitas is here, and it might be hard to see, but there's a little Noe up here because this is his favorite dessert, so he's just like I get. <laughs> like I mentioned earlier, I haven't read this volume yet, but you can bet that it is like on. It's up there. It's high on the list to read. Um, because like I said, I, I love Case Study of Anitas. But, um, so the limited edition has this cover, and it also came with this little art book. Um, it's a, it's a sketchbook, um, from 2009 to 2015 of only Vanitas and Noe. <laughs> I can support this agenda. <laughs> um, so basically, I'll show you a couple pages from it. But, um, it's just a bunch of sketches of Noe and Vanitas. So, here we have Vanitas and some Noe sketches over here. It really does feel like you're just flipping through June Mo Mochizuki's notebook, which I think is just a super fun idea and a super nice way to, like, come back to the manga after being on a hiatus. Here's some more pictures of Noe and Vanitas. And, oh, this is so cute. I'll have to flip through it more later. But yeah, so. And then, the reason I bought this one online is because this version came with these. <laughs> I thought they were shikishi boards, and they definitely are the side of shikishi boards, but they're actually just like a little postcard. Um, both just like commemorating the release of the 11th volume. So like here we have Noe, and then we have Vanitas. So, I don't really have any case study of Anita's merch at the moment. I definitely want to get some, um, but I thought this would be a nice little way to start decorating where my case study of Anita's manga is. So, there we go. So I believe that is all the manga. There's a couple more things in here. Um, 
If you guys watched some of my other videos, you know that I put plastic protectors over all of my manga. I had recently run out and was kind of facing a dilemma of like where and how I should buy them, but uh, once again, Rack 10 or Japan Amazon for the win. So I was able to get a bunch more of the plastic sleeves to protect my manga. Not exciting, but it was in there. So last but not least, the last couple things in here are more Visual K merch, like the very first thing I pulled out of the box. I ordered some magazines. Um, let's see if I can get them out of here. All right, we can sit here to the side. I ordered some magazines to add to my collection. So I'll show them to you guys real quick. So these are all the same as the previous band, um, the Gazette. So this one, this is Fool's Mate with Gazette on the cover. Um, does it say what year it's from? 2010. So this is right around the time that I found them. I believe I found them in 2011, so it was right, um, so it's November. So this was right around the time I found them. This is one of my favorite songs of theirs, and it's also one of the very first songs I heard of them. So I just thought it would be fitting to like have a magazine from that era to display or to flip through or to practice reading Japanese with. There is a multitude of things. So let's see if I can get you out of here without ruining you. Ugh. Okay. So again, maybe you can see the cover a little bit more. Here's the picture of all the band members. So if you don't know the Gazette, I'll just run through this real quick. This is the vocalist Ruki, guitarist Oraha, drummer Kai, bassist Reita, and guitarist Aoi. So if, I don't know if this will ring true to anybody, but if you're thinking the Gazette, that sounds familiar. Where have I heard that before? Fellow Black Butler fans, if you remember from season two of Black Butler, they did the opening song for that. Um, that is actually kind of originally how I found them, is I heard their opening song, which is called Shiver, for Black Butler season two. Didn't really click for me, like I heard the song, liked it, but never like went digging. And then later, one day when I was bored, I was like looking up Japanese music and they showed up several times in several like compilation videos that I watched. I'm probably aging myself right now by saying this is how I found music on YouTube in 2011. But, um, so I heard them, they kept popping up, looked up a couple of songs. This song was one of them. This is from their single Red. Um, and the rest is history. Like, <laughs> don't really know what else to say. 13 years later and I am just, I am still here supporting these boys with every fiber of my being. So let's look at a couple pictures here, shall we? So here we have my two favorite members. I love all the members, obviously, but I'm a little partial to the vocalist here, Ruki, and the guitarist, Aoi. But Red is such a good song, and again, like I said, it's one of the very first ones I heard by them. So, here's this magazine. So, there's two more I gotta look at. Take that off of there. So the next one, again, same band, the Gazette. Um, this particular cover is from my all-time favorite song of theirs, which is called Pledge. And it's a ballad, it's really beautiful, um, and it just has a special place in my heart for a lot of reasons. So I thought it would also be fitting to get another magazine. Um, this is Neo Genesis, um, 2010 by the looks of it, um, with the Gazette on the cover as well um, from their single Pledge. <sighs> the Gazette is just such a special band to me like uh, you guys I don't mean to just carry on and carry on but I I really just like don't know where I would be without them um it's nice this um magazine comes with a poster that if I'm really careful I'm sure I could cut out but it kind of gives me anxiety to do so but we'll see so that it folds up here to see all of the members and yeah, 
it's just it's really pretty so here i'll show you a couple pictures over here this is the drummer kai and then ruki the vocalist over here again let's see if we can find a picture of the two members that i haven't talked about yet here's the other guitarist Uraha, over here and our beloved bassist Rita. And the last thing in my box is also just like very nostalgic for me. One last magazine of the Gazette from, I say the very first song I found them in because like technically Shiver from Black Butler would be the first song I heard them from, but the first song of theirs that I listened to where I actually was like, okay, this is a band called the Gazette type thing, is this one. Here's another issue of Fool's Mate. This is from November. And again, the Gazette is on the cover here. This is from their single called Filth in the Beauty. It is one of the very... It is the very first song, like I said, that I heard from them knowing it was them. And I still, to this day, just absolutely love this song. The first time I got to see them live, or if not the first, definitely the second, I got to hear this song live and it was just kind of like a really beautiful, like full circle moment for me. So I thought I really want to get like, um, a magazine of this one to like have and so again I'll show you one of the pictures inside here's all the members here once again all right guys well that was everything in my haul well thank you guys again so so much for sticking with me after I've been inactive for a while but I'm hoping to be back and hopefully now that finals are over and stuff has settled down a little bit I can start to make one haul slash manga haul video a month but in the meantime, I'm hoping to also bring you guys a little more content. Like, I've been having some ideas about doing like a manga reading log to share with you guys like what I've been reading because I really also just want to talk about what I've been reading because I need to, I want to know what y'all's opinions are on certain things that I've been reading as well. And I've been thinking about doing some videos about my small tiny business that I'm starting which is sticker making and button making coming soon and also maybe doing like some day in the life vlogs of like an otaku grad student type thing I don't know if any of those things sound interesting to you to you guys or I'm gonna also obviously be continuing with the manga haul and the merch haul videos as well so if any of those things sound interesting to you let me know please assure me that I am not wasting anybody's time um, but again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will look forward to seeing you guys in my next video, which will hopefully be a reorganization video slash new shelving video because as you can see behind me, I have way too much manga and I keep buying more and there's no place to put it. So I am going to be figuring out a way to, um, spread it out and do some reorganizing, reshelving. So, of course, when I do that, I will bring that to you guys as well. But until then, I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!